Hello everyone, this is the installation tutorial for Banner Kings. This will be a pretty decently long installation tutorial. So first, for my Steam users, uh, for other options if you're torrenting or using other clients, I, this, this is going to be rough. But first, we're going to make sure you download Banner Alert. So go to Properties with your Steam. And you're going to want to go to local files, verify if you're on the latest version, if you're on betas right now, we're on 1.8.0 as of this point of video. So I click on none, but in the future, you click on this. That's going to download the assets for that version. Once that's done, you want to verify integrity maybe once if you're feeling quick two times just to make sure the corrupted downloads aren't a problem. So while that is downloading and repairing on your side, we do have a list of mods to download, as you can see here. So let's bring over Mod Nexus. So let's go first start off with the main mod, Banner Kings. So we want to download is go to Banner Kings, go to Files. Uh, this is obviously one for 1.8.0 uh, as of September 27th. So what we're going to want to do is download this one here. I do manual download and you want to download the assets. And this mod does require other mods to run. It requires three mods and one is not absolutely necessary. The first one is UI extender. So you want to go once again, go back to files and manually download. The other is butterlib, go to files and download the correct version. And the third one is mod configuration menu. Once again, download the correct version. And the last one is your open source armory. Uh, me personally, I downloaded all three just for personal sake to make sure everything goes smoothly. So while those are downloading, or if you have those downloaded, it's going to look like, not look like this. It's going to look like the extracted versions. This is what the extracted versions are going to look like. So we're going to do this, and this is an example for the rest of the mods you have downloaded. So for Banner Kings, I do have 7-zip installed. It also will work with Renoir or base Windows. I do, I'm on Windows 11, so I go show more options, but Windows 10 also, you can click on Properties. There should be a thing called Unblock. You click on Unblock and click Apply and click OK. Next, we want to do is go back here and with 7-zip, I can extract or it should give you an option to extract elsewhere. So once those extractions happen you're gonna end up with these files right here or you can double click on it and find the app and extract from there so you want to do that with both harmony ux sender butterlib and the three open source armories but i think you can get away with just the main open source so next once again make sure you have all these extracted and unblocked and your game has been updated and repaired so first we're going to want to do is go to properties once again lo local files we're going to click on browse. It's going to open up your modules folder. So for Harmony, right, you can drag this modules folder on this module folder or open this up and drag this into here. Just like that. You want to apply that with UI extender, Butterlib, open source Armory. And for some people, uh, you, do, you do not want to drag the main folder. You want to make sure that the folder doesn't have any other extra names. You also can tell what folder you want to put in to your modules folders. If you go into it and you see like uh, submodules, datas, asset packages and stuff, then you know that the, the previous folder you just clicked into is the correct folder. We want to put that in there. And same thing with Banner Kings. So as you can see, I do have everything minus Eagles Rising. So, the way that you're going to be doing it is called the clean installation. So basically clean installation of game and no mods. I'm doing a semi dirty, which means I do have a mod installed, but nothing too crazy where it's 40 other mods or asset overriding in the main steam folder. But this will work if, if you do it cleanly. Once we have that installed, all these mods, we're going to go click on play. If it boots on the other monitor, and some people have had this problem with Eagles Rising in particular, so if I disable Harmony, Harmony, right? I, well, I cancel. 
Right? I toggle C equals rising. Harmony becomes instantly toggle toggleable. That type of stuff. And it becomes untoggleable if I turn it off. So for those who are having problems, please make sure you do download your extra mods. But for this in particular situation, we're going to download uh, Tick Off Harmony, Butterlip UI Extender. This because basics. Uh, make sure you disable any other mods. But for me, just see Eagles Rising. I have enabled my Banner Kings and open source armories all underneath story mode, which is native. And then we're going to launch the game. And then we're going to get in game to prove that this installation method you just watched does work. As we can see so far, open source armory is recognized. So we're going to see if we can quickly skip through this. It will take a bit to load up all the assets at first. Especially if you're running any other larger mods. And for those who are uh, running uh, Lemmy's European map, I think I believe there is a patch that you can install to fix some of the problems. But we're going to do a new campaign over Sandbox just to make sure everything does work. But Sandbox does eliminate some of the quests. For 500 years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Okay, we're going to skip this. And we're just going to uh, randomly choose random people and we're going to start game if a menu pops up allowing us to choose our class then we know we installed this correctly skip tutorial skip tutorial continue boom so this means we have banner kings installed it does give us options and once again if we go to clan it will give us options for courts, so we do have the mod installed. If any problems with the mod installing, let me know in the comments down below, or join my community Discord, and we'll gladly sort out your problems. And if that doesn't help, you make sure to support the mod creators and join their Discord, and let them know where you came from. So stay tuned, and enjoy.